watching this show from a bicycle, I hope you're wearing a helmet. Warning, Scotty Squall is based on a character by Melanie Watts. Guess what time it is, Richard? That's right! It's time to watch a little mop versus broom before I head to work. Better check for optimal TV watching conditions. <laughs> One too many. Three, two, one, and... Last week on Mop vs. Broom, Broom learned that getting wet is harder than it seems. What a mess that was. <laughs> Today, Mop learns a hard lesson while trying to clean up all-purpose flour. Better buckle up, this one's gonna get wild! Stay tuned. Ugh, commercials. Everything tastes better when it's on a stick. So make your food better with yummy gummy sticks. Now you can have squash on a stick, donuts on a stick, stuffing on a stick, mustard on a stick, soup on a stick, and deep fried stick on a stick. They should the rethink the soup. Duck. Who's the real cleaner? It's Krabby Duck. I'll clean your kitchen, your fireplace, and when I'm done, I'll clean your face. I'm Krabby Duck. <sighs> and now, back to Mop versus Broom. Finally! Right after these commercials. Oh, come on! <sighs> I may as well just head to work early. I'll just record it. Hey, mister, you want to buy a watch? How about a pen? How about a watch that turns into a pen? Ta-da! Interesting, but uh, I'm headed to work, so... Seth is the name, and selling unique items you can't live without at what seems like incredibly low prices is my game. Okay, wow, great slogan. I should go now. I'm the best door-to-door -door salesman in town. In fact, I can even sell a door to a door. Check it. Play door, want to buy a door? Hmm, nobody's home. I'll come back later. <laughs> That's the best salesman joke there is, and it can be yours for a very low price. Um, it's a good joke, but I really do have to run. Have a nice day. Well, I don't sell just anything, friend. I sell something. A whole lot of somethings. Big somethings. Little somethings. Somethings for carrying your other somethings. Ain't that something? It sure is. I bet you could use this. A singing toaster. I'll heat you up to eat you up. Please let me be. Have a family! Ah, that was beautiful! Ha-ha! But I've already got a toaster. How about chewing gum? From the future! There's nothing there. That's because it's from the future! It hasn't been invented yet. Hmm, no. How about a nice pair of overpants? Those look a lot like underpants. No, 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 no. You wear these over your pants. I'm not sure wow. that... Wow! Nice overpants. <laughs> Thanks. See, they're all the rage. I don't really like rage. It can be yours today for half the price of the full price plus 112%. One day only. Gotta act fast. No, I can't. Look, Seth, I have a job to do here, and I have very limited time for shenanigans. See? Stacker duties, lunch, bathroom and hand washing, blinking, and shenanigans. I can't use up my shenanigan time with you because my buddy Dave always causes some sort of... Scary! Today I'm going to... So, as you can see, listening to your sales pitch jeopardizes my pie chart of efficiency. Sorry. Go! Oh. Mm. Efficiency, eh? Hey, pal, hang on there. Got a minute for your buddy, Seth? Ooh, no. I have to water Richard, vacuum twice, and pre-wash my dishes before making dinner. What a shame. I was hoping to introduce you to the efficiency line from Dr. Efficiency of Efficiency, Inc. Dr. Efficiency? He was so efficient, he invented everything he wanted to in one day and then retired. That does sound efficient. And all his inventions are designed with that same kind of efficiency. Never scrub a dirty dish again. Let the Dishmeister 2000 do all the hard work for you. Hmm. Then I could save my elbow grease for my elbows. They get so dry in winter. But then again... No time to shower at home? Take your shower with you. The Power Shower Center straps to your noggin. You'll be scrubbed, shampooed, and blow dried in less than a minute. Well, I guess that could come in handy. Who has time for the barber? Vacuum fur clippers will give you that perfect goo in seconds. My, my. Wow, that sounds... No, I really have to water my plants. So. And you can try the entire efficiency line free of charge for 24 hours. So just try them for a day and then... And then decide if you want to buy them. 24 hours starting now! Mm -mm. Frozen yogurt. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying them out. Completely 100% commitment free. Do not pay for 24 hours. No ifs, ands, or buts. You break it, you buy it. Polly Watercracker and Bob Sherman. Incoming watermelon scar! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Awesome ride! Time to eat my helmet. Whoa! 
Are you opening a box store? These are inventions from Dr. Efficiency. I have 24 hours to try them. Does anyone want to help? Ooh, ooh, me, me! Pick me, Scatty! Over here! Please! I picked Dave! Yes! In your face, no one else! Come on! We've only got 23 hours and 37 minutes to go! This doesn't look safe! Who cares? Free haircut! <laughs> Who knew vacuum scissors could chase someone for that long? Okay, on to the power shower center. Have fun, Scatty. None of these gadgets work. They would make my life less efficient. I'm just going to give them all back. Who could that be? What do you say, friend? How was your 24-hour trial period? Terrible. And it's actually only been 2 hours and 14 minutes. Hmm, let's check my watch. Which is also a microwave. Hot cocoa, delish. According to my watch, it's been well over 25 hours. How is that possible? This watch is from Australia, my friend, so it spins backwards. Your trial period is over. What? No! If that's... And that... But you... Uh -uh. I said no ifs, ands, or buts. Will that be cash or check? But they don't even work. Oh, maybe you'd like to buy this, then. It's the world's smallest violin playing just for you. Sounds like I'm mocking you, but look! But I don't want any of this junk. Not my problem. You now owe me... What? You've got until 9 a.m. tomorrow to pay up or I'll have to take... Oh, I don't know. Your house! You can't just take my house. Well, then, you better sign here. Oops, wrong form. This one says I can just take your house. See you soon, chump. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What now? Got the money you owe me? You said I had until 9 a.m. Yes, but this clock is from Japan. It's already 10 a.m. over there. Now he has to pay in yen? But I don't have yen or money. Out you go. <laughs> yen is money. I know that. Not sure you did. It says, please, you can't take my house. Yes, yes. I'm afraid I can. You're Let's head on in, folks. I'll give you the tour. Wow. Ah, smells like squirrel. Maybe I'll buy it, tear it down, build something. You know, classy. <laughs> Place this nice is gonna go fast. Who wouldn't want to live here? I gotta find a way to get my house back. <gasps> Maybe one of Dr. Affectionate's gadgets can help. Hmm. You know what, Dave? You're right. We're gonna give Seth a taste of his own medicine. Step right up, step right up. Be the first in your neighborhood to own the most amazing time-saving inventions ever made. And free ice cream! Ladies and gentlemen, nothing goes with a brand new apartment like brand new futuristic gadgets. Right, Dave? Right, Dave. Check this out. Make dirty dishes a thing of the past with the new Dishmeister 2000. <laughs> Would you look at that? But uh, how did you it's do? It's so clean you can eat off it. And never spend hours in the shower again with the brand new Power Shower Center. Check it out. Ah, it's so refreshing. <laughs> That's impossible. Does that really work? I'm clean enough to eat off of. Stop wasting time at the barber shop with this dandy little ditty that'll give you a dapper do. Ta da! I'm so handsome, I'm eating. How is that possible? And normally you would have to pay a lot for these gadgets, right, Dave? Billions of yen. I'll take them. Whatever you want, I'll take them all, right now. Today there's a special deal just for you, sir. All of these items can be yours if you just rip up that contract I signed. So! Just give me those good golly gadgets. Oh, I'm gonna be rich. Follow me, folks. Bring your wallets. <laughs> step right up, step right up. Get the new power shower center. Oh, or, oh, 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 no, why? <laughs> Don't go to the barber. Why? Oh, oh, no, why? <laughs> Will that be cash or 
Sure, Jack. Perfect. Today, Mop learns a hard lesson while trying to clean up all-purpose flour. Well, everybody's got to learn a lesson sometime. Stay tuned. Whoa, whoa, I love commercials. As a matter of fact, the next commercial I see, I am buying that product. Okay, ready? Here it comes. Insurance check. But you're made of styrofoam and paste. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Real cupcakes aren't safe to stack. Remember the icing incident in Chestnutville last summer? What a tasty tragedy. Master! I don't pay you to eat! Don't! <laughs> delicious. I hate delicious! Give me one good reason why I shouldn't give your job to the next person I see! <laughs> Or the next, next person I see. But Mama, I... Mama? I'm home. Oh, Lester! Lester? Lester? My son! Ah! It's been so long! I've missed you too, Ma. Lester is my number one son. Your number one son? So many wonderful times. Yeah, that was a lame sock puppet. <laughs> yeah, remember how you hated the googly eyes, Mama? <laughs> remember the hate? Oh, come on, Nessie. I left those childhood things way behind me. Uh, yeah, me too. I didn't know you had a brother, Nestor. <laughs> He's nothing special. You're right. I've just been spending the last few years traveling the world, completing my degree at Oxford University. No biggie. Oxford? You hear that, Nestor? Nope. La 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 Studied grocery store management. Not sure where I might get a job, but... The annoying storage is called the name... Who can have Nestor's job? And his room! You're making me sleep in the guest room? Don't be silly! The guest room is for guests! Wow. Nestor, what are you gonna do? Me? I'll be fine. I'll go traveling to some fancy school and become a doctor, astronaut, lawyer, plumber, pizza-making president. Then who'll run the star? He will. I thought that was pretty clear. Fine. I'm just giving this to charity. <laughs> that Nestor. Always a stand-up guy. Nestor? Nestor who? Ooh, cold. I wonder if anything's going to be different now that Lester's in charge. Scary! Great work on that castle display. You're complimenting me? Hey, hey, listen to me. Your work is beautiful. You are an important part of this team. <laughs> Hello? Get off my lawn! Nestor! <gasps> What are you doing in here? What are you doing in my house? This is my display. You can't live here. Tell that to my dirty laundry. <gasps> but you're ruining all my work. As long as Golden Boy's in charge, I don't have a choice. I'm just going to sit here all day and eat tuna. That's cat food. Meh. Whatever. Maybe you and your brother could work together. He seems pretty awesome-tastic. Him? Well, no! I'm staying here and that's final. I've got to fix this. Chips up potato. Lester is a good singer. Oh, <laughs> embarrassing. I minored in major operas at Oxford. How's our favorite stacker? Awesome! What's with all the chips? Oh, uh, uh, just moving some stuff around. Uh, thought it would be helpful to put the newest products at the front of the shelves. I've been saying that for years! <laughs> Smart kid. Say, what would you think about co-managing the store with Nestor? He's a little, um, bored. No, Mama wouldn't like it. But Nestor is, um, really good. He can do pretty much any job, and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> really. Well, if Nessie can show me he has what it takes, I'll put a good word into Mama. Thanks, Lester. That'll help me out a lot. Nestor, help Nestor out. I meant Nestor. Thanks. Helping his brother. Is there nothing Lester can't do? Nestor! Nestor! Ah! Stop crying.
cramping my style. Ooh, peanut butter. Uh, Nestor, great news. You're back in business. I'm manager again. No, but you will be just as soon as you show Lester all the amazing talents you have. Oh. Okay, time to show off your store greeter skills. Hello. 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 Excuse me. Can you Do I look like I care? Do I? Hello. Hello. Now, stacking! Cashier! Come on, Nestor, you've got to at least try. What does it matter? I'll never be the... Number one son! <laughs> Nothing's wrong with coming in second. Unless there's only two of you. Then it actually means you're coming in last. Dead last. I'll go see what Lester thought of your performance, but it doesn't look good. Wow, it stinks in here. Wasn't there food here before? Don't yell at me. I'm doing it slowly so that no one suspects. Just, just calm down. Come in. Hi, Lester. Oh, weird. I thought I heard you talking to someone. I was on the phone. Where is your phone? I don't worry about details. I'm more of a big picture thinker. I know Nestor didn't really impress you. He's just sad and he really needs... Nessie? Nessie? Nessie needs to leave forever! So he doesn't ruin everything! Ruin her! Ruin her! Are you ruin still her. the nice boss? I said good day, sir. No, you didn't. Hey, Nestor! Nestor? Are you around? All right, let's do this quickly. Here's your cash for the aisle, the phone, and the chip, see? This isn't enough money, Smithy. I need more. <laughs> Relax. I have a guy looking for a frozen food section, see? Hmm. I have to be careful, though. My brother's still around. He's the smartest meddler I know. I'll have to keep an eye on him. <gasps> Nestor, you're not going to believe what I just heard. You're standing in my bathroom. What do you mean there's nothing you can do? Just tell your mother. Mama's not going to believe me over Lester. Besides, I'm not smart enough to beat him. I'm just going to take a long bath in the soft cheese display. No, wait. Lester said you were the smartest meddler he knows. He said that? Yes. You can save the store. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's too late. Look at me! It's not too late. Help me help you help me help save your helping store. I think there was one too many helps in there. Are you ready for Operation Save the Store by stopping your brother Lester and putting everything back to how it used to be extravaganza? Yes! You got the camera? Let's do this! Don't worry, Mama. I'll find out who's stealing pieces of the store. Whoever it is is gonna pay! Well, it's probably Nessie. He's always been a troublemaker. Hmm. I never trusted those shifty eyebrows. I'm gonna go find them. Almost there. Almost there. Psst, psst. Hey! You, Lester? Who's asking? Name Smithy. Smithy sent me. I's looking to buy me a store wall, see? What's the secret phrase? Ah, look! I didn't know there was a secret phrase. <laughs> That's exactly it. Congratulations. You just bought yourself a store wall. Wait a minute. Is that a crack in my wall? Crack? And you're busted. You've, You've been, been stealing, stealing the store. store! What? No, Mama, it's Lester. He just tried to sell me that wall. It's true. It's all on tape. <laughs> you were supposed to catch it. We never rehearsed that part. Now, Mother, who are you going to believe, me or Nessie? <gasps> I know that gentle caress anywhere. 
Would you believe Mr. Stinky Toes? The puppet? Lester's been carrying around Mr. Stinky Toes the whole time. Along with all the money he's made selling pieces of the store. They're talking crazy. I haven't been... Oh, give him back! Get your hand out of him! Tell the truth or the sock gets it. Fine. It was me. We needed the money. For what? Studio time to record Mr. Stinky Toes' new hit song. Is this what you learned at Oxford University? Uh, Oxford isn't a university, it's a loony bin. What? Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, why are you just standing there? Get back to managing the store! Right away, Mama. Hey, Scaredy, I just wanted to say... Clean up this cupcake castle! It's disgusting! Yes, Look sir, Nestor! You got it! Consider yeah. it done! Okay, aye, aye! What happened, Scaredy? How can you stand living like this? It's Scary Squirrel's safety corner. Scary's in the corner and he's safe. Welcome to Scary Safety Corner. I made raw egg salad sandwiches. Dave, that's not safe. See how good he is? Bam! Not safe. Today on Safety Corner, we will be having a musical number. Oh, oh, is it a safety song? With a safety dance? No. In order to get Lester to put the store back together, I said Mr. Stinky Toes could premiere his new song on Safety Corner. Oh, boy. I'm a friend that goes on your hand. Some people find it hard to understand. They want to lock me away. Say that I'm crazy. But Mr. Stinky Toes is here to stay. See? See? I'm not crazy. <laughs> so, um, stay safe. <laughs> I told you.